and welcome to Long's Toys. I have some more Japanese transforming eggs to review for you today. These are wild eggs, and very much in the same tradition as the Ultra Eggs for Ultraman and the Godzilla Eggs for Godzilla, the wild eggs are dinosaurs. So the three I have for you today are the Brachiosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus, and the Triceratops. And as you can see, the Triceratops is a brilliant blue color, just for fun, I guess. The Tyrannosaurus is kind of a green, and then Brachiosaurus is kind of a brown. So he's the probably closest to an actual color of a dinosaur, but they're supposed to be fun, so let's throw in some bright colors, I say. Here are the back of the packages, just to take a quick look. Oops, let me move over there so you can take a look quick. Not too much going on in the back, but I do kind of like the picture here, and I'll see if I can get closer. It kind of has like a little scene of them fighting each other in, you know, prehistoric time. There is a tri or a pterodon that I will review at a later time. There are some other ones in this line as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at these, get them out of the packaging. All right, so first we're going to be taking a look at the Brachiosaurus. He's really got some nice detailing. I like how the kind of darker brown bleeds through to the lighter brown. And that's probably a lot more evident in person than it's actually showing up on camera, but I'll get a little bit closer once we transform them. It's pretty obvious uh, how to do. It comes with instructions, but you don't really need them. You can see the legs here on the side, so you just kind of bend them forward, flip them around. You can already pretty much see your dino taking shape. The tail up top here flips around. Then this little tab right here, just put your nail and flip the head out. That's going to click forward, and then the rest of the neck will extend. Now, unfortunately, mine, as you can see, the head is a little bit off to the side. Not a big deal. You can kind of bend it back a little bit. But it's a pretty good-looking little Brachiosaurus. I like it a lot. I think it's fun. I'll try to... The head is very tiny, but I'll see if I can zoom in. That's as much as I can zoom. But you can see it's got an eye and a mouth drawn on there. Very, very tiny head. But I think it looks cool. And I really like the design of him. I like the color scheme. I think he looks great. It's a nice transformation, but it also turns into a really nice dino. I don't think it's warped at all, or I don't think the egg body makes it distorted. I think it's just a fun little dino. Give this to a little kid, and he could easily just pick it up and have a lot of fun. Alright, up next we got the T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus. And as much as I like the paint job on the Brachiosaurus, the paint job on this guy is even better. I love the dark green with the kind of light green underbelly. And you'll see there's some yellow paint or lightish, yellowish green up top. But first, legs here are going to flip all the way around. Or really about 270 degrees. Just like that. Then you're going to flip the legs down. And you can see your T-Rex is standing. Flip the tail back. Again, a little tab. Put your nail flip the head out. He has got a monster T-Rex head and the jaw does open which is awesome. Painted inside which I really appreciate. And I will get a little bit closer here. Unfortunately the arms are molded in. They do not move. But a T-Rex always has really tiny hands anyway. But you can see the inside of the mouth is all painted pink which is really nice. Not the joint in the back but the roof and the bottom of his mouth. So that jaw opens and closes. He's got really nice eyes there. And I just really, really like the color scheme here. I think this guy is awesome. I love the dark green with the yellowish green highlights. The tail's great. I love that it doesn't drag on the ground, but they kind of know T-Rexes now to have, you know, use it to balance them while they run. Very, very, very cool T-Rex here. And again, I don't think the egg body makes it distorted. I think it still looks like a great dino toy. And last but certainly not least, you have the bright blue Triceratops. I don't know why he's blue, but I love it. I love this color blue. I just think he looks really fun. Again, pretty obvious transformation. You're just going to slide the legs back, fold these forward. There you go. Do the same on the other side. Pull that back. Flip forward. Flip forward. You can already see you've got kind of a weird egg creature like this. Come underneath. Tail will come back, flip forward. Again, little tab, place your nail, flip out the big dino head, and then fold the crest a little forward. I think he looks great. 
It's weird that he's bright blue, but I love it. I love the color scheme. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I really like the job they did with the Triceratops head. The horns look great. The mouth looks great. The eyes look a little funny, but they're still cool. I think the crest is really nicely painted. I'm just all around a huge fan of these. I think they're really a lot of fun. I would say out of the three, this is probably the one where you kind of notice the egg shape of the body the most, but I still don't think it looks out of place. I still think it looks like a pretty good dino toy. So I have to say, I really like these. I mean, I thought they were cool when I first saw picks, but getting them in hand, I love them even more. I've always been a huge fan of dinos ever since I was a kid. I mean, what kid doesn't love dinosaurs, right? They're really fun color schemes. They're fun to transform back and forth. And I still think they look like great little dino toys. I mean, it's definitely something you could give to a little kid. He could keep in his pocket, transform back and forth, you know, play with them. And you can make them fight. I mean, they really do look like good dino toys. You could have the T-Rex try to bite his neck or something. I just think they're a lot of fun. And I love the color schemes. I love the packaging. I love the very prehistoric feel to the packaging. It's very, very cool. And they're relatively inexpensive. They're like 5 to $7 a piece, depending on where you find them. I nabbed these on Hobby Link Japan because that's usually best selection and cheapest price. So head over there, see if you can get them still. I know there are some other ones that have come out. Uh, next time I do a review of these, I have a, it's either Pterodactyl or Pterodon. I think a Pachyosaurus. And then uh, I can't remember what the third one is. Yeah, I don't know. But there are some other ones in the line. They look just as great, so I'm very excited. If you love dinosaurs and you love transforming eggs, then these are a no-brainer. If you just love dinosaurs, I still think they're a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the wild eggs of the Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, and Triceratops. And thanks for watching.